on guys, my name is Agent Psycho, and we're gonna get started on the third episode of Combat Arms Casting, featuring me, Agent Psycho, aka Toast Number 98. And this time we're gonna be featuring, uh, I think, Combat Foe Show's gameplay on Gravedigger Elimination, 140 kills with the Dual Scorpions, and the CC, CC Scorpion Evo 3A1. So immediately he, uh, res he spawns on Bravo side, goes down under with the Dual Scorpions. Dual Scorpions obviously one of the best uh, weapons for close quarters combat. Everyone just melts in front of your bullets. So he's just waiting for enemies to come down to the bottom uh, bottom level of Grave Dirt. He's just patrolling the area between the the uh, the water here and the spawn so make sure no one's coming uh, come flanking him. Takes up the first guy with dual scorpions. Then he tries spraying down the other guys with the CZ, but unfortunately he aimed down sight with the iTech and unfortunately the recoil is just way too much for him to handle and consequently dies. He immediately goes back down underside, uh, down to the bottom levels with his dual scorpions out, sprays down the first guy he sees and tries going for the second guy but unfortunately dies to the MG21E it seems. Uh, yes, MG21E steal to Nokia 900. So he's going to pull out his dual scorpions once again, he is really, really determined on taking control of the bottom levels. So he takes out his dual scorpions again, goes and sprays down two guys almost immediately because that's just how dual scorpions work. And uh, advances forward, tries to uh, check his corners a little bit here, checks the uh, entrance to the uh, enemy spawn there, sees that his teammate dies, checks back again but no one else is coming yet, and comes walks back around, tries to go for that guy right there with Famas 2 but the Famas 2 guy does headshot him immediately. Dylan 365 does kill him, and for that, but it looks like Combat Foe Show is going downside to the uh, to the down levels again. But because of his teammate it doesn't seem like he was able to move freely as he wished, and unfortunately died again to Dylan uh, 365. Combat Foe Show is really, really determined to um, get the uh, water level under control on his own spawn. So he reloads, and kills first guy with dual scorpions, reloads, and kills the second guy with a double kill. Uh, moves forward a little bit here, pa uh, kills the other guy, the other guy for the um, the seventh kill here. He's low on, running low on uh, dual scorpion ammo because he's only got 42 bullets left, and sprays, uh, tries spraying there, maybe hoping for a lucky lotto, but unfortunately gets taken out by Gene Felix with the M16. It looks like, it looks like he walks over and takes his dual scorpions because you know dual scorpions with like limited ammo is so much better than M16 with full ammo, you know. Goes back down under again. Looks like Combat Foe Show is showing us a pattern here. Combat Foe Show cannot control the recoil on the dual scorpions and thus dies to uh, make me lose with the MP7 steal. So Combat Foe Show do doing what he does best, going down with the dual scorpions. Pulls out CZ Sc Scorpion Evil 3A1 this time and manages to flank the guy for the ninth kill. Reels gun, which uh, CZ note that his CZ does have Extended Mag 2 on it, so he is able to spray for that much longer. Uh, uh, enemies. Pulling the dual scorpions this time, sees that there's a guy around, hops back into cover and pops back out again, trying to see if we can kill him, but it says tanked as Nokia 900 kills him with the MG21 steel. Goes back down underside again, with his dual scorpions, we're seeing a pattern here, picks up the 11 kill very easily, no damage taken to him, using only 22 bullets, and uh, immediately takes out this guy again. Maybe use a little bit more more bullets than he might have wanted because he was at point blank range and he wasn't even firing back. Combat Foe Show is playing it very safe, not even going up to the uh, spawn right there, but uh, immediately sees this guy going to the corner and uh, sprays him down very quickly. Sees this guy on the stairs, picks up a double kill, pulls out a CZ, but unfortunately is not able to fire off a shot as he is taken out by Legion X with his A94 attack OP. Now he's going to spawn back down again, and uh, with the dual scorpions, dual scorpions immediately takes out his killer and takes out his teammate. No damage taken to himself, so that's good. Uh, takes out this guy for the multi kill. Unfortunately, gets headshot by the CZ Scorpion 3A1 or Evil 3A1 by Make Me Lose, I think was his name, and. Um, yeah, pulls up the dual scorpions again, goes back down underside. It would be nice if we could see a variety of gameplay. Um because you know, going down under, seeing him uh, murder people over and over with the dual scorpions. I mean, it's a it's a good it's a good concept, but I mean, it would be nice if we'd see some variety of gameplay. As you can see here, he's going he's tearing the enemies down uh, as he coming as they're coming down from the spawn. No damage taken yet. Uh, so he's got 60 plus uh, 14 bullets left in reserve, so he's got a little bit of ammo to spare. And um, 
he returns back to his own spawn. I'm not really too sure why he's doing this, but it looks like he's uh, decided to go up uh, up top now. If maybe because he's felt like he's dealt dealt enough damage on the bottom side here. Picks up more. Uh, picks up the uh, ammo pack from the enemy he's just killed. So uh, he reloads twice again because obviously if you pick up a uh, health, if you pick up an ammo pack uh, when you have less than full ammo, then you will uh, really you will have to reload twice in order to get full ammo again. Gets headshot by the guy by that dialing 365 guy. Um, and looks like he's going to go back down under again with his dual scorpions. Try to assist his teammates who are, may or may not be fighting off enemies there. Maybe they're not because it seems like they're on the stairs there. But it looks like there are enemies threatening to push down here. His teammates are, taking, uh, are making sure that no enemies are getting down those stairs down to the bottom level. Moving back and forth, making sure that no one's, they're not in danger of being flanked, which is a good idea because uh, you never know if anyone, any enemy might slip through your spawn and come, uh, just come around to flank everyone on your team. It's happened before and I've done it too. Doesn't feel good if you're on the, on the receiving end of that. Besides that, you know, the bottom levels is secure. Uh, the teammates are able to hold off the, uh, basically hold down the bottom levels by themselves. So he goes up top side, sprays down that first guy in the uh, middle passageway there. Sees this guy just standing here for no reason at all, so uh, proceeds to spray him down along with his teammate. Picks up an ammo pack, gets uh, gets full ammo again, reloads twice. Looking for pe uh, people to, uh, to come out of their spawn. Po pokes into their spawn a little bit, gets a very, very fortunate headshot. HP at 42. Sprays on another guy for another yet another headshot. Sprays on another guy for the, a double kill. Goes over and picks up the health pack or the ammo pack again. Reloads very quickly, but is not able to finish off the guy with the A94 attack to OP. Recommended that he should not have reloaded immediately uh, twice uh, after picking up that ammo pack. You never know if people are going to pop out very suddenly. He's going to go down under side. He finds that his enemies have fallen and the enemies ha ha do now have control of the bottom level. Dies immediately to the guy with the MP7 steal, I want to say. Actually, no, he died by the MG20 when he steals my bed. And um, goes over. And we, uh, his teammate finds out his teammate has taken out the guy uh, camp in the corner of the uh, bottom levels. Tries taking out this guy, but the MG20 when he steal is too much for him to handle. As Nokian 900 does take him out with that machine gun. The MG20 when he steal very good machine gun. So it's not necessarily uh, it's not necessarily uh, combat foe show's fault here. <coughs> Wait in the corner, trying to wait for people to pop out, but instead he takes the initiative, manages to spray down a guy in the corner, but it uh, looks like Nokian <laughs> takes him out once again with his MG20 when he steal. Quickly switching out to his CZ Scorpion and back to his dual Scorpions again. Common for show uh, tra travels down the, the uh, water here. He's never pushed up the water. He's never pushed up the water uh, or the uh, stairs there because he knows that the stairs are very dangerous. You never know if uh, enemies are going to be there. But he pushes up anyway, trying to take a little bit of advantage, trying to take a little bit of risk, and it pays off for him. Now he's got, he's killed two people with his uh, dual scorpions. Now he's on an ultra kill, picking up two more kills with the CZ. He's looking to extend his uh, streak here, but unfortunately this streak has ended. Trying to spray his CZ mag into people, but uh, into his enemies, but unfortunately his enemies do have do not have spawn shield. He knows he's low HP, so he can't push up uh, all the way, otherwise he's going to get taken out so easily in one shot. So waits for him to come around the corner, spray, try spraying the guy down with the A94, but unfortunately, the recoil of the dual scorpion screwed up his aim, and um, unfortunately, he was not able to control them in time, in, in time in order to take him out, and thus he dies. His team is uh, about to win here, and uh, Combat for Show was trying to pick up another kill, but it looks like uh, the game has ended before Combat for Show was able to pick up himself another kill uh, on the bottom level. Anyways, guys, thank you guys very much for watching. This has been uh, episode number three of Combat Arms Casting, and um, hope you guys have enjoyed. And yeah, submit you more of your own gameplays if you guys would like to. And um, I'll see you guys later. You can shoot that tonight.